Hi there, Joker here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm uh, going to show you some projects with two new products. Uh, they are both called New Wave. This is the die. It's a 5 by 7 inch uh, cover plate. And then I will also be using the New Wave Background Builder stamp set. These two actually work together. They have the same um, size wave so you can combine them or use them on their own. So apart from the top and the bottom of the die, um, the whole thing is the same. So you don't have to cut a full panel to get some layering going on. So if you want to uh, create a rainbow pattern, uh, you really don't need to die cut a whole uh, panel and waste all that paper. I did um, die cut the whole thing from I think from four colors and then I ended up creating quite a few uh, backgrounds this one here is going to be a fully um, covered background actually um, I am lying here because I am going to skip one wave just to add some um, white space in between the colors you know I I don't know I just felt like it needed that and for that I am just going to use a placeholder wave here this dark uh, green color and then I will remove it as soon as I glue down the next one and that's how I built the whole uh, background it's very simple really and then I am trimming off some of the edge like just a, a hair so that um, my panel is going to be a, a slightly, slightly smaller than 5 by 7 and then the card base is going to be 5 by 7 just so I have a white edge around it like so. And then I'm going to start working on other backgrounds as well and then later I will put together the cards. So here I'm stamping a 5 by 7 uh, inch panel and this is the stamp set that I mentioned. And as you can see, there is a single wave, uh, some sentiments, and then there is this one big stamp with four waves that if you move um, up and down, then you can add uh, some colors, actually five different colors, I believe. Uh, I hope I'm not saying anything wrong, but uh, let's see. So once you stamp the first one, then you want to layer um, the next one or you want to line up the next one in a way that you have a hair um, of white in between the two and then you will be able to fill up that space with one two three four I think uh, four waves there obviously you can add as many or as little as you want but just make sure that you are not stamping the waves directly um, next to each other because then the pattern is not going to be um it's not going to come together unless you just want to use it three times like here then it really doesn't matter how you layer them so you can see that there's space for four waves between um two waves if that makes sense so if you look at the yellow ones then there's uh, space for four waves there i am um, instead of stamping that last one i'm actually going to add uh, a die cut layer or that was my plan but you will see what's gonna happen and then there's a few sentiments with this stamp set that lines up with different parts of the wave um in case you want to stamp them um or you you know you have some options to stamp them in um, different parts of the card and then so instead of adding that uh, die cut uh, wave into the white spot there I just added it on top of the um, darkest stamped layer and I'm actually adding two layers of the die cut just to add some dimension you could even use some foam tape on this if you want just to add some interest and uh, texture and dimension I liked uh, I like the the whole background better when there was a bit more white there so that's why I decided to add these um, die cut layers 
on top of uh, the already stamped one. But obviously, you don't have to stamp that if you plan better than me. But I often have to see uh, things not only in my mind's eye, but you know, for real. So this is just a stamped background, and then there's uh, <laughs> there is this one that I messed up. I cut my finger, and I didn't notice, and I bled on that. So that is. Um, Maybe I will use that as uh, to 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 cut something from it. And there's a few die sets here that I showed you that I'm going to be using. Two of them are older. One is the Anchor, and one is the Tropical uh, Paradise set from last year. And then there is a new one um, called Oops, a little bit late, which I am going to be using as accents on 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 these cards. Now for this um, completely stamped card. I'm only adding a few enamel dots in matching colors instead of adding layers of die uh, die cuts, which is normally my preference. But I wanted to create something uh, for those of you who like one layer cards. Um, and then I'm going to, yeah, that, so that's, uh, that's it for this one. And then I'm going to move on to the next one. And like I said, I'm using the anchor for this one. I think it's always fun for uh, for summer projects. And I die cut the anchor twice and then I glued, uh, glued them together. And now I am placing a few foam uh, tape pieces, constantly checking where I should place them because um, my background is not one layer. So there's a, a few uh, waves there if that makes sense. Um, so I'm only adding foam tape to the parts that are going to be directly on the stamp background. Oh God, that is the longest and silliest explanation ever, but I hope you know what I mean. Okay, so here is the oops a little bit late die, um, die cut. I already uh, glued it together off camera because I didn't think um, it was that interesting and also because I have it in another video where I think I actually glued it together on camera I hope there's so many videos I'm uh, trying to do voiceover for I don't quite remember <laughs> anything anymore and my editing program keeps um, uh, crashing freezing everything so I am you know, sometimes I spend, uh, well, I do the audio six times or so. So sometimes I really don't remember what I said already, what I did already. So I apologize. But you can always ask questions if I miss something, if I said something wrong. Um, I'm always happy to answer. So don't feel uh, like you cannot ask. Um, and then I'm also using um, a sentiment from the... Everyday, everyday sentiment uh, stamp set that is, um, I think, a few months old. It came out this year, and just as a sub sentiment there. And I'm finishing off this card with some enamel dots again. Really simple. I did not bother adding flowers, <laughs> but here I am um, with flowers because obviously I had to create something uh, with flowers as well, and. So this panel, as you can see, there's no white space in it, but I wanted to have a white edge around it. And then I um, was planning to just add white flowers. So white leaves, white flowers uh, as, as an accent or, um, yeah, as an accent. Um, so I'm putting together these um, hibiscus flowers um, I'm just creating a cluster in the top corner. I probably could have created two clusters in, in opposite corners because this is um, such a big card format. There's plenty of space for this. But I think, I actually, I don't remember why I didn't do that. Um, maybe because I'm always doing it. <laughs> I, I don't know. And then um, I'm adding some foam tape to the uh, flowers. And then... Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want that arrangement to be glued down. So once I kind of know I'm starting uh, using liquid glue for the 
leaves and constantly checking where they should go. As you can see, I'm constantly rearranging. And then uh, once everything is glued down, I will glue down the flowers as well. And to finish off this card, I'm also going to add a sentiment. That one is from the new For You um, sentiments that, uh, die set, which we, it was kind of a request from uh, several customers because um, you may know I created one for German customers um, at the last release and um, some English speaking customers wanted to have an English version as well. And obviously I wasn't against it. <laughs> I love these uh, little sentiments. So um, again, that one I'm putting together in another video for sure. So if you check the other videos, you will see how I normally go about um, layering those. So here, here are the cards up close. I hope you like them. I hope you like the new uh, new wave products. I think um, there's so many options with colors here. Um, it's a really simple set, but you know you can achieve so many different looks um, by just changing the colors. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you check out the other uh, videos with the other new products as well. Thank you. Bye bye.